In this video, we're going to learn how to make amazing pixel art and import it into Godot so that it looks beautiful. Let's do it. So here I am in Godot and I have a piece of pixel art here. This is brought in as a Sprite 2D. There is no pixel art editor inside of Godot like there is in some other engines. And so you have to use another tool. One tool that's really great that's free is pixelart.com. That's P-I-X-I-L-A-R-T.com. And you can draw some amazing pixel art with this app and it runs in your browser. It's really nice. But if you do want to get serious with pixel art, I would highly recommend getting a Sprite. This is probably the industry standard as far as pixel art programs go. It's kind of like Photoshop for pixel art. And pretty much how it works is you go to file new and you decide the dimensions of your Sprite. If you're just starting out, I'd recommend 16 by 16 and hit OK. Then you can zoom in by hitting control plus on the keyboard. You can hold space to click and drag and move your canvas around. And from here, you can use the tools to actually draw something. By the way, if you're brand new to pixel art, I have a really special thing for you. If you click right here on the card on YouTube, you can get a free course on how to make pixel art hosted by me. I think it's the best way to start learning pixel art. It's totally free. So make sure to check that out. There's also a link down in the description below the video, baby. So go sign up for that. Just takes a minute and then you can learn so much about pixel art. Oh baby. We'll just keep it simple today and draw a box. I'll just use the box tool and make a little box like this. Make this kind of a squatty box. I'll hit E on the keyboard to erase the little edges here. And let's fill this in. What color should we make? Let's make it purple. This is kind of a magic box. I'll hit G on the keyboard to switch to fill mode. And I'll go up here to where it says contiguous and make sure that's checked. And I'll fill in both of these faces of our box. I can even zoom in this preview here by just mousing over and rolling up on the scroll wheel. It's nice to look at something in a little preview because a lot of the time your pixel art is going to be very small. And let's add a little bit of shading to this. I'm going to color pick this purple color and then make it a little bit darker and a little bit bluer. And again, hit G and fill that in. And for this little line right here, let's make this just a little bit brighter actually. So I'll select this again, hold Alt and click on that to pick the color. And then I'll move this up and a little bit more towards pink. Eh, maybe a little too much, something like that. And I'll hit B to switch to my brush. There we go, we have a shiny little edge to our box. And what the heck, why don't we make a little handle on this box too? So I'll just kind of make a little handle here. There we go. Maybe it's a little lunch box or something. You never know, you never know what kind of magic is inside this box. In fact, let's add a couple little sparkles there. It's a sparkly magic box, it's full of wonder. Maybe I'll even take this dark color and we'll just kind of do the outlines here. So it's a little bit brighter on top, maybe just a little darker than that though. Yeah, something like this. Very nice. Okay, there's our box. It looks beautiful. Yeah, I think I'll keep that dark. And now it's time to export this into Godot. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we gotta do is go up to file in the upper left and go down to export. Everything in you is gonna wanna say save or save as, but that's going to save this as an A Sprite project file. We don't want that. We want to export and we're going to export as. Here's where we can set all kinds of options. By default, everything should be just fine. The only thing I'm gonna make sure is under output file here, I'm gonna click on these three little dots. I'm gonna make sure I put this somewhere where I can find it and we'll call this magic underscore box. And I'm gonna type dash 16, just so that we know it's 16 pixels wide. And for save as type, instead of all formats, I'm gonna go down to PNG actually. So we're gonna save this as a PNG, I'll hit save. And if we did this right, right here, it should say magicbox16.png. Visible layers, all frames forward. That sounds great. This is just a still. There isn't any animation. Let's go ahead and hit export and it'll save the file and this will close. So now in Godot, to bring in our art, all we do is find it on our computer. Here we go. Here's our magicbox16. And I'm gonna take that and just drag this into the lower left window, our file system panel here in Godot and let go, and there's our magic box. And then from there, I can just drag this into the canvas, and what that's gonna do is create a Sprite 2D node, and it's going to hook this up as the texture for the node. Now, you'll notice that this looks nice and crisp and beautiful. The reason for that is because I set my preferences to make it look this way. So, if it's coming out blurry, like bing, this, that's because what it's trying to do is take these very low res 16 by 16, pixel images and blow them up. And depending on the image that you're using, a lot of the time it looks better if it adds just a little bit of blur. But with pixel art, that's not true. It looks way worse with blur. We want this to look pixelated. That's what pixel art's for. So what we do is we go up to project here in the upper left and go down to project settings and that'll open our big old project settings window. Over here on the left, 
we're gonna scroll down here to where it says rendering and textures. I'm gonna click on textures. And here where it says canvas textures, this says default texture filter. Instead of linear, we want this to be nearest. So set this to nearest and go down and hit close. And look what happens. Beauty happens. That's what I'm talking about. That's amazing. So now we have our beautiful pixel art here in Godot. And just as a little bonus tip, we have this cabinet art here that I made in a sprite. This is a 16 by 32 image. And this is actually two different animation frames. This is a sprite sheet. And so what we can do is select our cabinet art node here. And we can go up to Sprite 2D where it says animation. And here where it says H frames, we're gonna tell it that there's actually two frames here. So if I hit two like this, look what happens. Then it makes this half the width, so 16 by 16, and it uses the first frame by default. So again, if I go over to animation, here where it says frame, if I hit up on this, it's going to switch the frame. So by default, the first frame is zero and the second frame is frame one. So <laughs> frame, frame one is zero and frame two is frame one. I know that's a little bit confusing. Just think about the frame all the way to the left is zero, and then it goes one, two, three, four after that. And so you can have an entire animation here all within this Sprite 2D node, all just using one piece of art that you made in a Sprite. So for instance, if we want to animate this, we could do that a few different ways. Probably the easiest way is to go up here to our frame one right here and say new frame. And then I can select frame two like this, and let's do something to animate this. Let's Let's just kind of fill this in and make it so it looks like the box is open, right? So it's just kind of an empty box like that. Okay, we kind of have the top off the box, something like that for now. So we have two frames. Frame one looks like this and frame two, the top is gone. We can go up to file and then export, same thing, except for instead of export as, we're gonna say export sprite sheet, okay? What that's going to do is that's going to put the first frame and the second frame next to each other and it's gonna make an image that isn't animated like a GIF or anything, it's just a png with the frames next to each other like this and the way it makes things by default is usually just fine i'm just going to make sure to check this output file right here let's select this and call it something magic box 16 animated and hit export and now we have this magic box 16 animated i can drag this into godot and i can drag this in here and we have both frames i can go over to animation here and change this h frames to two and now I can animate this by changing that frame property right there. And you can change this with code and everything. And that's how you kind of switch out art in Godot. Pretty fun, right? Hey, if you want to learn more about animating things and using animated sprites in Godot, let me know in the comments. That would be awesome. And again, if you're brand new to pixel art, make sure to check out our free pixel art course right here. It's totally free. And if you want to learn how to make your own pixel art for your games and make them stand out, then that is a great place to start. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you.